In SOLIDWORKS there already is functionality to actually add a curve via XY coordinate values. But what if we want the reverse? What we'd like to do is extract those XY values from a curve that already exists. Now in this instance what we're going to do is we're just going to actually add a sketch on this particular face and I'm just going to create a circle and I'm just going to drop the circle at the end of this particular curve and we'll just cut that through all. Now the dimensions at this moment in time are, are irrelevant really so that's why I've not bothered actually defining the actual sketch. But what we are going to do now with this hole, if I highlight it and go to my features and curve driven pattern, what I'd like to do is actually pattern this hole along the curve. Now the actual pattern direction is the curve itself and you can see that I've got 15 instances equally spaced along that curve. And if I just accept that, you can see that we've actually indeed added that pattern. Now in order to extract those coordinate values, what I'm going to do now is actually create a detailed drawing. So if I just make drawing from this part, we'll just go with a standard template and we'll click on the A3 size. I won't bother with the format and I'm just going to hit OK. Now what I do need to do is actually just drop a view in. So I'm just going to one tick my uh, import annotation. So I'm going to drag my top view in and we'll place that approximately about there. Now. All I need to do is make sure the view is highlighted and just go to my insert table and hole table. I'm going to go with the standard hole template and all I need to do is select my X axis and my Y axis and also select the face where the holes have been placed. Just accept these values and you can see that we've now got a table that I can place anywhere on my drawing. Now, the four columns that we've got, all we're really interested in is column B and C, the actual X and Y coordinate values from that particular origin there. So, I can right-click on these columns, and I've got the option where I can delete that particular column there, and I can also do the same for column A, which is just the tag, so I'll just delete that column. That leaves me now with just my two columns, A and B, and if I right-click anywhere in the actual table, I've got the option to save as, and I can save this in a number of formats as another template, but what we're interested in is an Excel spreadsheet. Alternatively, we can actually add or create a text file or a CSV file.